Crack Pressure 101 today. When you download a tune off our website, it's going to tell you blue actuator set at 5 pounds, black actuator set at 7 pounds, typically. Some stuff will be a little bit different. Basically what it always is, is either 5 or 7 pounds. This is an old school turbo, it's dirty, I'm sorry for the video. It's for an old M8. We're going to set the crack pressure at 5 pounds on this. Now what crack pressure is, is how much pressure it's going to take before your wastegate starts to open. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a hand pump. Mighty Vac is the common brand. Attach it to your actuator and then pressurize it. There's a couple different ways you can do it. If you have your five hole flange off, you can watch the wastegate open or you can just watch the rod. Or I like to put my finger very lightly on the end of the rod and then pressurize it. See right there, it just started to move. We are at nine pounds. This actuator is way too tight. So what we're gonna do, release our pressure, pop this little clip off, loosen this nut. I already loosened it. Remove the rod. It's about one pound per turn. Three, four. Put it back on. Put your clip back on. No need to tighten the nut at this point. Right there, I just felt it move at six pounds, so we're close. Here we go, two full turns. Pop it back on. Do it again. Right there, it moved at five pounds. So that crack pressure is set. Now, just to show you guys, our black actuators are tight when they're brand new. They loosen up. The least you're going to get out of a black actuator when it's brand new is eight pounds sometimes. Now, the loosest you ever want this rod is... Right there, it slides on freely. You never want it to be that loose. You want to go one turn from where it slides on freely. You want to pull on it slightly to get it on, just so that you keep some pressure on that wastegate wheel. And that's it. Once you got it set at five pounds, make sure your clip is on. and then tighten down your lock nut. Only needs to be snug, don't reef on it, and you're good.